Mount Zion. I'll be singing over there. I'll be singing up there, Lord. I'll be singing up there. Come on up to Mount Zion. I'll be singing up there. Miss me from praying. You can't find me nowhere. Zion, I'll be praying over there. I'll be praying up there, Lord. I'll be praying up there. Come on up to Mount Zion. I'll be praying up there. If you miss me from singing, you can't find me nowhere. Come on up to Mount Zion, I'll be singing up there, I'll be singing up there, Lord, I'll be singing up there, come on up to Mount Zion, I'll be singing up there, if you miss me from praying, you can't find me nowhere. Come on up to Mount Zion. I'll be praying up there. I'll be praying up there, Lord. I'll be praying up there. Come on up to Mount Zion. I'll be praying up there. If you me from dancing you can't find me nowhere come on up to Mount Zion I'll be dancing up there I'll be dancing up there Lord I'll be dancing up there come on up to Mount Zion If you miss me from rejoicing, you can't find me nowhere. Come on up to Mount Zion. I'll be rejoicing up there. I'll be rejoicing up there, Lord. I'll be rejoicing up there. Come on up to Mount Zion. I'll be rejoicing up there. Amen. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh, saints. Is Yahweh good? Is Yahweh good? Glory be to Yahweh. And at this time, let us all uh, bow our heads and lift our voices unto Yahweh. Let us pray. Heavenly Father Yahweh, come before you through your Son's name, Yahshua, the Messiah. You are the God and the Father of all the holy prophets. We thank you, Lord Yahweh, for giving us the dreams and our visions, Lord Yahweh, that we have in this place. We thank you, Lord Yahweh, for being that mighty God and that good God unto us. Yahweh, we just thank you for your son, Yahshua, the Messiah, who did everything to please you, Lord Yahweh, and who shed his blood for us. And Yahweh, who condemned sin in the flesh, Lord Yahweh, help us to take on the same mind, Lord Yahweh, and help us not let our flesh get in the way, Lord, and help us to walk after the Spirit. And Yahweh, we ask that you cleanse our, our bodies through your words tonight. Whoever you choose to speak through, Lord, that you wash us clean through your word. Yahweh, we ask that you bless the mouth of the, re the minister also, Lord Yahweh, that you give them your words which come from heaven above and help us not to be distracted from your words tonight, that they may help us in the times of trouble, Lord Yahweh. And Lord, we ask that you touch those that are sick and afflicted tonight, that you touch and heal their bodies through your son's name, Yahshua, the Messiah. For you have the power, Lord. And Yahweh, we ask that you bless all the saints that haven't made it into your house. Make a safe way for them, Lord Yahweh. In the name of Yahshua, the Messiah, let the church say, Amen. Amen. I'd like to read a scripture out of Psalms 24. 
The earth is Yahweh's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of Yahweh, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up their soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessings from Yahweh, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh. It's a good night to be in this house. Y'all may be seated. But I thank Yahweh for his many blessings. I thank Yahweh that I'm here tonight. I thank Yahweh for my beautiful wife and my children that he has blessed me with. And um, I'd like to thank Yahweh for, for everything he's done for me in my life. I just want to share a quick dream that I had this morning. Um, I was sitting, uh, I was actually at my father's grave, and, you know, I dug up his, his, his casket. I dug, it, I dug his casket up, and I was looking at his ashes, you know, seeing it, see, trying to find out what my dad looked like, you know, as far as being dead and all. You know, I look, he, he was just nothing but ash and, and dust, and then... I turn around and apostles are in the in the in the middle of some kids, and they were uh, singing. Uh, he always says, "I forgive," and but the children were singing the like a last the last part of it. Um, they were singing. Uh, he always says. He always says. They kept repeating that, and, uh, and that was the end of the dream. But I thank Yahweh for showing that unto me. I thank Yahweh that he does bless us with dreams and visions. You know, but I thank him for being a good God unto us. But I'm not going to prolong the time. Got to get ready to hear what Yahweh has to say unto us. So at this time, let us please stand and rise and receive Evangelist Childers by saying praise Yahweh. Y'all may, may be seated. <clears throat> Children, I want to thank Yahweh for another opportunity to come through these gates, to come to his house, which is called by his name. Children, I want to thank Yahweh for the good and the bad in my life. I also want to give double honor to the bishops tonight. <clears throat> you know, saints, it is a good night to be here. Yes, it is. Regardless of what Satan was telling you today, you know, it's a good night to be here. I'm glad to be here. Amen. You know, the righteous, you know, should be flowing into this place for a place of refuge. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I, could, I couldn't help but just to think about, you know, being here in the house of Yahweh today. I couldn't help but to think about, you know, the people, you know, have compassion on the people. You know, because we're all going through things. Amen. Regardless if you like it or not, which more than likely you don't like it. You know, regardless of all those things, you know, I still was thinking about the people. Amen. And I was meditating upon Yahweh and his goodness That's and right. how he sent forth his son into the land. That we all might be able to have some hope, you know, to find that everlasting life. That was my, 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 meditation, my meditation today was on that, on those things, in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Amen. But I'm not going to prolong the time. I know it's time for Yahweh to speak. You know, many men have been speaking on, on, you know, on the earth, but it's time for Yahweh to speak unto us. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. You know, I know we fight many, many demons today. Many <laughs> thoughts came our way. But it's time to hear what Yahweh has to say unto us all. Amen. It's time, prophet. Let us all stand and rise as we bring forth our beloved prophet Stanford by saying praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh again, saints. Yahweh. You may be seated. It is good to be in the house of the Most High God, giving double honor to all the men of God. We, we should count, count it all joy to be here tonight. Yeah, Lord. You know, many people that woke up this morning, uh, uh, should I say, that didn't get to wake up this morning. That's right. And so, as Evangelist was saying, the meditation on Yahweh, you know, he's a good God, and Amen. there are just so many things that we have to be thankful for. Yes. But, right. but Satan, he's so real. He, he want to destroy the works of the kingdom of Yahweh. Amen. 
That's right. And you know, I was listening to a song, and at that song, it it it, it sends chills up my spine. At the same time, it gives me uh, yeah, it, it, it was talking about uh, uh, break every chain. There's power in the name of Yahshua. Right. And you know, if we really look at the power that's in the name of Yahshua. That's right. Many things that we are faced with, it, it, it has to go. That's right. And, and then the song began to say, I feel the chains falling. Yes. And now, if we just allow the word to be right. That's right. Everyone will feel the chains falling. Amen. Too many times we want to hold on to the things that are keeping us bound. That's right. And I'm growing old in this way. Yes, sir. I've seen many, my eyes have seen many things. Many things. In, 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 in these years that I've been here. Amen. I, I've seen the strong become weak. Yes. And I've seen the weak become strong. That's right. But it takes the word. The one, that it, that's why the, the scriptures say, like it says, the race is not given to the swift, nor is it given to the strong, but it's given to that one that will endure to the end because things are going to come up in our life. We're going to be faced. The, the scriptures say this right here, and when it says it, I'm looking for it. It says offenses, they, they're going to come. It, it need be. We're going to taste offense. But when offense comes your way, yes. are you holding on to the word of Yahweh? Is, is that going to be your buckle or you, and your anchor? That's right. Or is offense going to take hold Amen. and cause you to make your decisions? That's right. I've seen so many people make their decision based on offense, not based on the word. Yes. And that's why we, we must be careful. Yes, sir. When the offense comes. That's right. Anything, and, and we say this, but people still have ears and they hear not. Yes. The word don't say it more over. Anything that takes your peace from you. That's right. Anything. Anything. That takes your peace from, you know what's up the devil? That's right. That is offense at knocking. Yes. At your door. That's right. It's time for you to stop. As they say, stop and count to three. Right. <laughs> Take a deep breath and say, I know this is offense that's at my door. Yes. Yahweh, I need some help with my thinking right now. Amen. Anytime we start talking to Yahweh, you're getting a victory already. Yes. Because you're not going to talk crazy to him. No, you ain't. But we'll sit there and we'll hold a conversation with Satan, oh, yes. a crazy conversation. Yes, sir. And he'll agree with everything that you feel because he's the one that's giving you the thoughts. Amen. And we don't realize that there's a spirit that gives us what we think. Uh, there's, we have no good or uh, evil on our own. It, it's, it, it, Yahweh is good. Satan give us evil thoughts. Yahweh gives us a way out. Satan shows us it's defeat. What's yes. the point in staying in this place? What's the point? Yes. And, and, and if we give in to that thought and say it's pointless, believe me, the world, it does start looking kind of nice to you. Right. Because believe me, my flesh, there are things that my flesh would love to run to. True. I was sharing with uh, Evangelist Childers, uh, I forget, uh, it might have been Apostle Hurley speaking at the time, or Teacher Davis. And on my way to church, Satan put a black and mild cigar in my mouth. <laughs> and I could see myself uh -huh. puffing. <laughs> and it made my flesh feel good. Uh -huh. right. And there are things that we can see ourselves doing. Yes. Sometimes I could see myself cussing that man out. Yeah, you can see it. Because it would make my flesh feel good. Yes. And see, this is how I know that I'm serving him. Because I bring my body under subjection to what's right. Yes, I didn't smoke 
a, no. a cigar that night. No. But Satan put it there. True. When you talk about the marijuana and all of that stuff, yes. Satan, he brings the feelings back. Oh, yeah. He said, don't you remember how that felt? Remember? And to my flesh, it did feel good. Right. It sufficed me to walk the will of the Gentiles. That, that sufficed me. Yes. But I know that it's poison. That's right. Smoke coming, me coming to church high is not going to benefit you. No. I, I, I don't care what people come up with. Yes. It, it, it defiles us. That's right. You talk about they can make it legal all they want. Uh -huh. Don't you find yourself going to Canada. Amen. <laughs> Even if they make it legal in Texas, don't you go right. to the dope house. <laughs> don't go to Colorado. Well, it's legal. I thought we could do all things that are legal. No. Because <laughs> everything don't edify. That's right. That, I, I can see you now. <laughs> yeah, I feel real good. Really Next good. thing you know, you don't you felt so good you ran into something. That's right. Oh, somebody. I, somebody. Right. Yes, I want to call your attention to Proverbs uh, 19. And uh, just start reading. Mm -hmm. well, well, 19 and 20. 19 and 20? Yes. It is written. It's written. Hear counsel. It says, hear counsel. And receive instruction. And do what? Receive, receive instruction. You know, every time we come here, we're, we're receiving counsel. Yes. And when I come, I expect to hear counsel. When yes, I'm sir. sitting over there, I'm hearing counsel. Amen. And, and to receive, it means you heard it, and when you get up, you perform it. Many people hear counsel. That's right. But to receive counsel is a different story. Yes, sir. One that receives is one that performs it. Yes. That's right. But everyone that walked through these doors have received counsel in some way, shape, form, or fashion. The man. But they haven't changed. Yes, sir. There have been some that have received counsel and have changed. Yes. School's getting ready to start. It's true. Our young people, it, it's a battle. Th this message, I've been here for a long time. No. Message haven't changed. No. Haven't changed at all. No, that's right. I can pull up a tape 10 years, 15 years ago. That's right. And it's going to be warning you about school getting ready to start. Yes. And it's going to ask, where are the young people mind? Rachel, them here, this same message when they yes. were growing up, going to school. Yes. And you know, I look at Nicole them, and I, and I say, Yahweh, thank you because you have not left yourself without a witness. No. Yes, they went through things. Oh, yeah. Yes, they failed. Right. But 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 it, it, uh, uh, strong. If you fall seven times, you get back up. That's what a strong man is gonna do. Yeah. That 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 one that's weak will just waddle and say, Well, I can't do this right here. Yes. So I, I, I see y'all as strong, Amen. you that have gone through the fire, that teenage year, yes. and have been tried with adversities. But you're still here. And, and, and that's what the spirit, because the race, again, is not given to the swift, nor is it given to the strong. No. But it's given to that one that will put up yes. with all, everything that's coming your way. Yes, sir. Because believe me, we sit in here, and the Lord is my witness. We offend one another. Amen. In word. Yes. But what are we going to do when offense comes? That's right. Because, see, it's still given to each and every one of us. We're charged by God. Yes. How to come out of that offense when it comes. That's right. Brother Robert have a problem with me. Right. So I'm going to have a problem with him. Uh -huh. that's, not, that's not the teaching of the Messiah. No, it's not. See, Yahweh, an uh, opportunity is always there for us to prove our love to him. Right. Yes. Offense is going to come your way. Oh, yes. I've been offended with apostle. Right. But I had an opportunity to prove my love to the Messiah. And as I proved my love to him, my love for apostle was made perfect. Amen. And 
That's how we got to look at things, saints. Yes, sir. You, you think I like hearing every word, and I have to use myself as an example. An apostle, everybody think, oh, if, if, nobody have a problem with apostle. Nobody. You lying. <laughs> everybody in here, from the even the children, right. don't have a problem with him. Yes. <laughs> but the thing is, when offense comes, because we're going to be offended. Yes. Something that may be said. That's right. On this wise right here. <clears throat> Sometimes my flesh receives the standard for being slow. Right. Sometimes my flesh don't want to hear that. Right. That's offense. Yes. But what am I going to do when that offense comes? Right. Apostle, I'm tired of you saying that about my family. My family ain't slow. I'm tired of that. No, uh -uh. It, it is what it is. Yes, sir. It, move a little faster and we won't have that reputation. Right. <laughs> That's true. But there are things that we're known by. Sometimes we are, sometimes we're accepted. Hey, Amen. <laughs> and then uh, sometimes your flesh, it just don't want to hear it at that time because things that you're going through. That's right. But what are you going to do when it come your way? Since it's come. Are you going to put up a defense? Well, apostasy, they used to be like that. They ain't like that no more. <laughs> All that type of mess. I'm just giving you a, a good example yes. on how offense come through small things. Yes. Through small things that will d offset us from the race that we're running. Yes. We forget all about the sacrifices. Yes. We forget all about the love that's been shown to each and every one of us. That's right. When the instructions are given, offense comes. Yes. Amen. Well, that if that was your uh, their daughter, you wouldn't have done that. The counsel is given to each individual. And, and, and the scripture teach you don't judge. That's right. Because see, when we start looking at when one is given permission to do a thing and right. another one is not given permission, offense comes in immediately and say, you do not like my family. Right. It's respect the person. Right. He liked those children. That's why he's <laughs> like that toward Sarah. He's like that toward everybody. Yes. Anybody that, that's going through something, every bishop's hand is out to them. Amen. Every bishop is going to say things that's going to encourage yes. to give that person hope yes. to help them overcome what they're wrestling with. That's right. But we won't see that. Amen. Every time you bring my child up, mm -hmm. it's something negative. Right. Every time. Every time you bring your child up, it's something positive. <laughs> and it bear witness that you really haven't been listening. That's right. Because we use our children for both good and bad. That's right. Why, why we want to get up and talk about all the bad all the time? We only use it when it's necessary to yes. use. But believe me, we want everybody to see the good, the positive. Right. If your child is fasting and they still rebellious, we're going to speak of the good right. that we see. That's right. Not 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 that you still ain't listening to your mama. You still ain't listening to your daddy. No. We're not gonna point that out because we want to encourage to do what's right to do. Yeah. And until you and that's the that's the beauty about the meditation upon his word. Amen. And when you're meditating, you you need to be in him. That's right. Because see, Satan gives us meditation too. Yes, he does. Hmm. Satan shows us everybody in the church who have it made and who don't have it made. It's got it made. Satan does this right here. Those that are poor, I, I've heard our white saints feel like they're poor trash. Satan is the only one that'll give you that. And, and, and watch this right here. You never heard that come out of nobody's mouth. No one's mouth. Nope. But this is what Satan say. They treat you. He don't tell you with respect. 
He said, with disrespect, therefore, that's how they see you. Some right. black people feel like they're treated less than men. Yes, that's right. Some Spanish people in here feel as though uh, we don't really care about the Spanish race. Uh -huh. Right. No truth in none of that. Satan, is, his, his job is to cause offense. Amen. And, and, and to cause division. Yes. This gospel is preached to mankind. I, color is out the window. That's right. Color is out. When this word go forth, color is out the window. That's right. It doesn't mean anything. We're offended with our own imagination. Yes. Our own thoughts offend us sometimes. That's right. And that's why we have to gird up the loins of our mind. Yes. We have to, and that's why the scriptures say, think sober minded. Sober minded. We can be drunk and don't even realize. That's right. Uh, brother, why are you saying that? You know, and I, and, and I love this right here. And we have to do this right here. When the word goes forth, you have to meditate on it. And you have to ask yourself, what spirit just gave me that? If right. you're not asking yourself that question, that's why you're being deceived. You're mad and you're upset and you're complaining. Ask yourself, what spirit is giving you all of this right here? Yes. Why, why, why am I feeling like this right here? Amen. Who, who am I talking to? Yes. Y Yahweh, I, 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 I can't be talking to you. You bring me peace. Mm -hmm. You know what? Get hint, Satan. Sure. Get hint. Yes. And you start thinking on those things that are good. Amen. Those Amen. things that are going to accomplish salvation. Yes, that, that's where your focus should be on. That's right. Too many times our focus is, is, is gets off track with things that we want in this life. Amen. Whether it be uh, to go to school, to get an automobile, to want someone to like you and you like them back and right. all that kind of mess. Don't you know the flesh will get wrapped up in all, all, all of that? Yes, it will. No one will be in the church for me. Nobody. It get on the internet yeah. right. and tweet your business out in the street. Everybody. I, I Lord knows. I yes, sir. Ooh. That that's that's a that's a sore spot with me. Amen. Right. Because I don't know if you really grasp what you're doing. Right. Now, the way the the, the friend thing works is all these people that don't click like, he might have 150 to 1,000 people click to be your friend. True. And you get on there and you type, I'm, I'm getting sick of church. Right. There's a lot of devils out there going to say, you know what? You got to leave. It's going to be some responses made to, to whatever your heart put out there. Right. Somebody's going to respond to it in a way that your flesh wanted to respond. Yes. I understand it's a cry for help. But that's why they used to make diaries. Yes. But if you don't have a diary that got word pad on the computer, go yes. type on the computer to, if you want to get it off your, just get it off of you. Type it on. But don't broadcast it to the world if you're gonna do that come on up here before the church and and, and i mean we're your friends yes come on up before the church and, and just put it out there so we can comfort you and give you the right counsel and let you know well baby things are gonna be all right things will work out. you don't need to do that no you know yahweh is gonna bless you you don't need to feel that way but instead because i've seen responses to some of you alls. Amen. And it's mainly the young yes. that get on there and put their business out there. And you think you're getting away by changing, going from Facebook to Twitter to uh, whatever that new, there's a new one, what, what Instagram, and there's another one that the young people know about that we don't know about. Right. And they'll change up. And they ain't got a friend, none of y'all. And they can put their business out there as much as they want. But Satan is the one that's listening to it. Yes. That's right. 
ain't a saint that's going to be able to help you. Satan is going to make sure somebody contact you and give you what your heart is feeling at the moment. Yes. Because if you want to leave a person that have influence on you, yes. it's going to contact you. That's right. It's not going to be somebody just way out there, somebody you don't know. Somebody you don't know don't have no impact on you whatsoever. But somebody that you look up to in the world. See, there are people in the world that we actually see as to be something. Amen. I didn't say holy. No. I said to be something. something. To, to have something. And, and our flesh, all our flesh wants to obtain to something in life. Yes. And you'll look at that, instead of you looking to Yahshua for your strength, you'll start looking to personal things that people accomplish while they're out in the world. Yes, sir. You see a sinner with a new car. Right. A, a new house. Blessed with a business. All of these things. And you say, you know what? I, 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 maybe I need to leave in order to make something of my life. Don't you know all of that is vanity? The, the, the scripture says, vanity, vanity, says the preacher. Oh, all is vanity. vanity. Don't you know that everything that we've started, we don't have, if we had all the businesses that we started a long time ago, we probably would have something right now. But my point is, everything come to naught. How many of y'all yes. have the same car <laughs> that you bought your, your first car? Many of us don't. Because all that stuff, it tears up. Yes. Our flesh get tired of it after a while. That's right. Every, it grows old, and our flesh wants something new. Yes. Lose interest. We, amen. We lose interest. That's right. And some have lost interest in, in the Messiah. That's right. And it's a shame. Because, see, we have to, it, only we can rekindle our fire in him. Yes. We're, we're the only ones that can find the joy. Uh, like the song said, he's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. <laughs> he's my joy. I know Yahshua is he's my joy. Punk going to sing that song. Hey. Her and Diesel. Again, <laughs> Yahweh's will. But he is my joy. Yes, sir. And, and sometimes we forget that he's our joy. Yes. That's right. <laughs> because we start to moan because of things that we want to possess in this life. Amen. I'll be the first to say, my, I call. <laughs> I see y'all pull up with y'all new cars. Envy comes first. It, it tries all of us. <laughs> but then I have to remember, I need to rejoice. I had a car. Yes. Rejoice with them. Don't let envy control your conversation now. That's right. Because if envy stay there, the first question out your mouth, when you start asking, how much is the car? What spirit got you asking? Is that question out of concern? Or is it to make you feel comfortable, you know that they're going to lose it? <laughs> they can, they I, Lord lose. knows. The Lord knows. That's right. The, all of us, when we speak, yes. a spirit have us ask questions. Amen. Don't you know Satan will lead you with a question that will comfort your flesh? Amen. That's right. That's why we have to be careful. Sometimes I even have to ask my own self, why yes. did you ask that? That's right. What, 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 what was the reason for yes. you to say what you just said? Right. And sometimes I have to come back and, and straighten things up that I have spoken. Amen. To make, myself, to, to make sure that envy don't have me judging you or speaking to you. Or uh, anything on that wire. That's why it's important that we always judge ourselves. Yes, sir. You know, that's right. Yahweh's will. I, I, I hope some of the other younger people come, but you know, but they're learning, and, and and I can't. All I can do is pray. That's right. <laughs> all I can do is pray. Yes, sir. But 
you young people, y'all are hearing the word. And it's important when y'all hear it, y'all mix faith with what you're hearing. That's right. Whenever we talk about offense and envy and strife and all of that, we're talking to y'all too. Yes. Because you're going to be faced with it. That's right. And you know, Nicole, she had a deal, and it was stressful too, because her intentions was to lift the Messiah up. Right. To bring young people together so that they may learn of him. Amen. Yes. And so the first question, everybody, they always will. What do you want to do for the Lord? Everybody have input. Everybody want to do something for the Lord. Right. But then the question was asked, what, wh how'd you put that in the code? What, what do they see in themselves? Well, they misunderstood the question because it wasn't what they seen in themselves, they spoke what they saw in others. Right. And that's when you knew Satan was getting ready to direct the meeting. Right. But I thank Yahweh that she had enough Holy Ghost in her to realize, to see which way Satan was trying to take it, and she stopped it and directed them back in the way that they needed to go. Amen. Because don't you know, as young people, we're going to speak about offense with one another? Yeah. Well, some people, when you greet them, they, they be like, oh, get away from me. Well, you're directing that to somebody. Right. Don't you know whenever we use, uh, even when we speak, we leave it, some of y'all are wondering, who are they talking about? Right. Well, in some instances, you already know who we're talking about. Amen. Well, the individual yeah. may know who the Spirit is speaking to. Right. So, sometimes, the spirit, sometimes the Spirit is speaking to an individual, but still speaking to the whole body. Because yeah. it's important for us all to examine ourselves and see where we stand in the Lord. Yes. And if we're not examining ourselves, we will say, oh, that's Deacon Bobby. Right. Ain't got nothing to worry about. And it is you too. Yes. You, 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 you're one that go around speaking your feelings. Well, <laughs> and this is how we do it. We're on this wise right here. What well, they make me mad when they do that. When we bring the church in, we always say they. Right. Or we'll say them. Or oh, Pete, thank you. Those people. Or we'll say people. And, and you'll say that they don't understand. Whenever we start talking about the church don't understand, Satan is talking to you. Right. Church understands everything. Yes. The church knows everything. That's why it's important as as fathers, husbands, mothers, that you counsel with your children. Amen. Let them know what Satan's out to do. Right. Sa Satan is out to destroy. Yeah. Even when brothers trucking, when all us brothers were working together, right? Offense, <laughs> ooh Lord, came many a time. Came many times, <laughs> many times, Lord. to where. We answered one another rough. What's your 20? Why? <laughs> because the reason why we didn't want to, to say what our 20 was because I don't want to do no more work right now. Right. I, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Won't you look, ask Ernie what's his 20? Right. He might be closer than I am right now. <laughs> and you know the spirit had to deal with us concerning those things. It had to teach us how we need to think. Yeah. We wasn't being thankful for what Yahweh was doing. Amen. We, were, we were being mumblers yes. and we were being complainers. That's but right. I thank Yahweh for the word that comes and shows us ourselves. Yes. And I was able to look at me. Amen. I, I can't say what everybody else was looking at. Right. But when the spirit brung it forth, I said, Lord, that is, that's, let me change my speech. That's right. Let, let me quit being one of those that, that's, that, that's causing 
division right now. Yes. Because don't you know, unless the words show us ourselves, we'll never. You, you'll walk around and think you're all right. Right. With, with everything. Yes. But I had to examine myself. Yes, sir. When, when, when Apostle called that meeting for all the brothers. Yes. And say, y'all need to examine how y'all speak to one another. That's right. We, we needed to examine. It, right. And it didn't, it's like I said, it didn't matter who was in the dispatch. No. Apostle Diaz dispatched one time, didn't like him. <laughs> Apostle didn't like him. Gala, what you, Gala, you don't even know nothing about Dallas Fort Worth. What you mean, what's your 20? What's your 20? You just know, Grant, yeah, if I told you, you wouldn't know. Not a clue. And I mean, Satan bring those thoughts to your mind. Yes. And it's, it's up to you to rebuke the thought. Yes. And I had to rebuke the thought and, yes. say, and, and give my location. That's right. The devil wants you to lie. Yes. Tell them that you're coming from and you already don't made it through. Right. You're actually closer to where you need to be, but right. you want it to seem like you're not that close right now. Right. And I mean, those are thoughts that I had to wrestle with and overcome. Yes. Because right. this is real. Yes. And we can sit in here and we can act like nothing never bothers us. That this race is actually easier than most people say it is. But we have thoughts that we have to overcome. And we have to be honest with ourselves when the word go forth, as this mirror often do. Yes. It's, it's a mirror and it's a reflection of who and what we are. Yes. We can become some deceitful people sitting up in here. That's right. Yes, sir. Thinking that we're all of that. Yes. And we're not really working on ourselves at all. That's right. It's still stubborn. Yes. Uh, no one, if, if people have hard time coming to you, greeting you, you have a problem. Yes. That there's a spirit that you need to overcome. That's right. But it don't give that person a reason not to greet you. Watch Amen. that. Look, look, watch that. Because, see, Yahweh is always going to put the ball in your court. Yes. Regardless of what anyone else is doing. Regardless. Yahweh is going to, the, the, at the end of the day, yes. Yahweh is going to say, what did you do? What did you do about it? What, right. what did you do to overcome that evil? Yes. If you perceive that to be evil, what did you do? What did you do about it? Did you bless them? Did you shake their hand? Did you say, brother, all is well? Right. That's right. Even uh, three of y'all, maybe four of y'all work at Subway now. Right. D don't y'all know that y'all are supposed to be workers together, not workers against one another? Right. If your brother need help, help your brother. I mean, there are yes. many times we help one another. We suffer long hours for one another. Yes. So whatever our brother needed, we were there for them. That's right. Satan will have us become selfish. True. He'll say you're not getting paid for that. Right. And believe me, he brought all of that kind of stuff up. Yes. To everyone that worked for Brothers Trucking. I, I know Evangelist Childers can bear witness to what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Because it, it seemed like he was the one that, that, that took the grunt of everything. And I know Satan showed him that. Yes. Why am I always the last one out here? Well, we were faster than you was. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> Other trucks are fast. No, but sometimes it seemed like he was the last one out there. Yeah. Satan will show him that, yeah. and it may be someone else out there with him. Mm -hmm. And Satan will always show us that I'm the one right. that get the bad end of the stick. It's always me. The ones that do the yard work. Right. If we're not careful, it'll cease. That's right. Because sometimes the burden is placed on some more than it is on others. Yes. But what are you going to do with it? That's right. <laughs> are you going to say, brothers, I'm tired of this. I come up here every Saturday, and half of y'all ain't even here. Right. And I <laughs> mow the lawn. I do all the edging. Ah. I clean the windows. Ah. Look, look at all that I do. <laughs> <laughs> and don't you know we... And when we start doing, when we bring I into the picture, right. it's just a matter of time. Yes. Because that's the way Satan show you, look, nobody care. 
Right. You're on your own. Yes. It, sometimes I, I, I look on my son-in-law and I, I say, Yahweh, give him strength. Amen. Because sometimes he don't want to have to bring the lot more up here. That's right. Sometimes he'll be out there, him and maybe Apostle Hurley. Last week I saw Deacon Bobby out here mowing the lawn. Might Amen. have been two brothers up here. I passed by on my way to work. I think I seen you, and I think I seen you. And I don't know who else was up here. But I say, Yahweh, give them strength as I pass by. Amen. Yahweh, give them strength to continue to do what needs to be done. Yes, sir. Be because if we're not careful, we, we uh, don't want to labor anymore. That's right. Believe me, it's not that I didn't want to label. Right. I, I, I'll have to work on Saturday sometime. Yes. And I'll be honest with you. <laughs> when you start getting up in age, your body don't want to get up early <laughs> if it don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck say, when you ain't up in age, you don't want right. to get up. That's just the truth about the matter. Feel it now. It just want to get that one extra hour. Just let me just get that one hour. We say be here at 8. And you, you sleep in the 7.30. You ain't going to yeah. make it here by 8. Make it. No. <laughs> no, but we have to overcome things that we're faced with. Yes, sir. Read. Hear counsel. It says, hear counsel. And receive instruction. And receive instruction. That thou mayest be wise. That you may be what? Be wise. That you may be fools. Be wise. Who in here want to be wise? I, I want to be wise. wise. And, and, in order for you to be wise... Yes. That, that means you got to get rid of your thinking. That's right. If, if the Holy Ghost didn't give you that thought, you're not wise. Right. Because believe me, Satan give people thoughts. Yes. You know, we talk about marriage in here a lot. A lot. And I see people get up and leave out of here, those that have issues. Right. And I'm going to let you know now, people, marriage, that, 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 that marriage is not together, you lost. Amen. Because you charged by God to love your spouse. Yes. And you're not loving and want to take the gospel to the world. Right. <laughs> it, it, and it said if we can't take care of our own household, well, we're worse than an infidel. Worse than infidel. We can't even take care of the church. That's right. How, how are we going to, if we can't take care of our own house, that means get things in order in your house. Right. Make sure you love your wife. Right. Make sure that you train training your children up in the way they should go. Yes. If you can't do that, you can't take care of the church. No. That's right. you, can't, you can't even preach to nobody. No. Some people are, are, are just fine being a brother. I got right. a news flash for you. You still got to be righteous. Yes. I, I, I heard a man say, you know what, I, I'm, just, I, I'm just fine being a brother. Well, if you ain't right, you ain't a brother. That's right. That's right. <laughs> What, 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 what's the point in taking saying I'm, I'm a, a saint and you ain't? You're doing the work of the devil. He said, I'm loving my wife better now. In other words, I'm not loving her all the way that I need to, but it's better than it used to be. Right. I'm not, I don't cuss her out as much as I, and, and in all honesty, that's what he said. Yes. I don't cuss her out as much as I used to. No. I don't do that as much as I used to. Right. That's, a, that's, a, that's a shame. Because right. a, 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 a brother still have to bear fruit. Yes. Yes. A sister still have to bear fruit yes. of righteousness. Yes. So it, the same as a minister. Right. You just don't have the title. Right. A, 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 but it's still the same thing. Yes. Same if somebody slap you, Guess what? you have to turn out the cheek. Yes. Somebody slap me, I'm a minister. I got to turn the other cheek. It don't give me... I'm going to slap him back. <laughs> no, don't get you don't have no right slapping the minister. No. <laughs> I got to turn down the cheek too. Yes. That's right. Just because we bear a title don't mean that we can do, we got, we have special privileges right. to do different things other than you do. No. I still, you got to beat and bring your body under subjection. That's I right. got to beat and bring my body under subjection. That's right. When lust come my way, yes, I have to uh, say get him safe. You got to say get him safe. That's right. Uh, we're going to be faced with stuff that we're all tried with. Every day. From the least to the greatest, what yes. you going to do with it? That's right. When we tell you how to raise your children up. That's right. Train them in a the way. Because see, as parents, Lord knows. We can be weak. 
True. When it, that, but most people in the church, I'm talking about the church right now. Yes, sir. Our children are kryptonite. True. To our Superman. To our, we, we're supposed to be super. But when it comes down to our children, it's a weakness. It, it's a weakness. That's right. And we want to give in to. There were times I wanted to give in to what Nicole, Natisha, and John Jr. wanted to do concerning yes. the flesh. Right. Concerning the flesh. Can we go to the. To the uh, uh, the, the first thing when they start school, the game. The, it's homecoming, but they, they know we ain't going to let them do that. So, see, Satan has got crafty over the years. So, they say, well, mom and dad, there's a game. Can we go see a, and, and Satan say, well, there ain't nothing wrong with a football game. A pet rally. He just show you that. He don't show you all the sinners that's there, all the people that, that, that bring them, that, that they want to run with and become just like them. He don't show it to you like that. Mm -hmm. he, he show it to you in a way that a parent is going to be, I need to let my child have some freedom before they leave church. Right. Well, I, I, I'm a, a news flash. Let them run with them and it, it won't be long. Leave Before they leave church, That's right. because they're gonna like the feeling of running with sinners yes. to the same access of riding that they're doing. That's right. They out there cussing at people. Ooh, that yes. feel good. Let me. Well, you so and so you. Yes. And the next day, you know, your child become a cusser because you were too weak to say no. Too weak. That's right. We have to be wise. Yes, sir. Raising, training our children in a way they should go. It's, uh, again, we don't told Natisha, and still telling Natisha. I know they uh, his kin folks, but DJ fourteen years old. Amen. Teenagers start taking on a mind. Yes, all of us were teenagers at one point. That's right. And the older you get, the more you don't want to be here. Yes, it's true. As a parent, she got to be wiser than that. Yes, have to be wise. Yes. I don't care who it is. That's right. Nicole have to be wise. Rachel have to be wise. It is no more than the spirit having delivered over the years. Because I promise you, the kin folks are not at home listening to, I, I lift your name on high. No. I promise you that. Not even close. It might be high in the song, but it's not lifting his name on high. No. And we have to, and Satan will say that it's okay. Right. He won't show you the end of it, the, right. the, 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 the ending of it, yeah. but it'll That's corrupt right. him. Yes. Amen. That's right. Got to be wise. Amen. Because I, I don't want to see my grandson corrupted. Want, the next thing you know, he'll want to go stay with his daddy. Yes. Because mama's rules are too hard. Grandmama, grandpa rules are too hard. Right. And, and, and because... You allowed it to be so when the spirit say, don't let it be so. Yes, sir. Chunk, he can bear witness to what I'm saying. <laughs> he, Pastor Childers was in church. Right. Mother Mary wasn't in church at the time. True. Chunk got to a point to where, hey, my dad is strict. I'm tired of this mess. I'm going home. Got to go. Home. You know <laughs> Y'all bear witness to what the spirit said. Hey Amen. Uh, okay, you know, in church, like you said, we don't go to pep rallies and do all that kind of stuff. And daddy, but see, I'd always have family in Leveland. So I used to always go to my, my, my cousin Johnny's house. Right. Because Johnny, when daddy, you know, hey, dad, I'm going to go to Johnny's house. You shouldn't be going over there, son. I really don't like you going over there. I know dad, but it's my family. I want to go spend some time with her. That was my excuse. Mm -hmm. I go over there and listen to whatever I wanted to. Mm -hmm. You know, act the way we went to the, we went to the games. We went to the football games and all that. Walks. So we... His dad gonna say, yeah, we're going to the game, all right. So we walk down there, we walk back, get in the fights, do all that stuff, and then come, come right back and, 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 and act like we didn't do anything. But, but that, like he said, I got that after a while, you know, staying with daddy got a little too tough, you know, because I don't want to be doing all that. I'm having a good time. I want to have a girlfriend and all that kind of stuff. Right. So <clears throat> that's how I got in trouble. That's how I come I ended up 
Walking home from Lubbock, yeah, because I was <laughs> following. That's where that kind of Mental life problem. led yes. me, you know, uh, to, to the point that I disrespected my father and cussed in his car. Yes. You know, that's the last time I ever did that. Amen. And yes, growing up, you know, and, and he kicked me out. I had the yes. car right there, get out, okay. Pitch black. Uh, you know, and that's where that kind of life leads. Yeah, the Spirit knows what it's talking about. That we're going with the family now. Amen. And the Holy Ghost is, again, it don't, it's not a respected person. No. It's no respected person. No, it's not. Because Yahweh, this is the Spirit, only want what's right. And sometimes we can hear righteousness, but we think it's not fair. Yes. And that, 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 that's where that line, which, which side of the line are you going to be on? Yes. Are you going to be on the side where the Holy Ghost is giving Good counsel? Uh, you're going to be on that side to where I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. So, That's right. All of us, any of us that have gotten in trouble in time past, we didn't think anything was wrong with the decision that we made. That's right. We, we fooled ourselves into thinking that the outcome is going to be all right. right. And when you got to church and you were judged by the Spirit, because nobody knew what you done. True. Because many things are done in secret. Yes. Yahweh bring things to light, and you're like, "Wow." Yes. Who told? Right. Well, the, the Holy Ghost knows all things. All but things. it's important that you examine yourself when the Spirit go forward. Make sure you're not crafty. Make sure that you're not hiding behind the corner when the Spirit say something. Where it didn't say it like that, so I'm okay. But you know it was talking about you. My, my, my right. son, John Jr., used to, that boy was crafty. And I even have to deal with Elijah concerning those things. Yes. They use words to be crafty with. Yes. Play with words. <laughs> there, there, sometime you would say, uh, I remember one time he, he, he uh, I think it was, uh, as far as good for a man not to touch a woman or something like that, he tried to take it and twist it. I say, John Jr., you know what the word is saying, son? I say, I don't care how you put it, the touch is what leads to yes. all of that. That's right. And it always starts with a touch. A, a, a touch. A touch lead to fornication. A touch lead to adultery and all of that kind of stuff. That's right. That's why we have to be wise. That's why you can't allow your children to be crafty. Yes, so, some kids are smarter, too smart for their own good. True. They they so smart it keep them in trouble. That's right. Because they always trying to find a way around what the spirit is telling them to do. Yes, sir. Read a little bit more of that. Hear counsel. And receive instruction. And receive instruction. That thou mayest be wise yes. in thy latter end. In thy latter end. There are many devices in a man's heart. There are what? There are many devices in a man's heart. <laughs> don't don't y'all know that there are many devices in our in our heart. In, in other words, we all are thinking. Yes. And we have things that we want to do. Yes. At all times. That we want to accomplish in this life. Yes. But there's many devices in our hearts. Yes. But what? Nevertheless. Ne but watch this right here. It says, nevertheless. The counsel. When, when the Spirit talked about the children and all of that stuff, well, don't you know that there are devices in your heart? Yes. That's justifying? Yes. When, when it talks about what type of car you can buy and all right. of these things, there are devices in your heart yes. justifying you all getting that type of car that you want. That's right. Not what the Spirit is calling for. All the time. Two seaters and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Never justified. No. When the Spirit, uh, the modest apparel, yes. where they don't make uh, skirts big enough for me. That, I, who ever, ever heard of such a thing? <laughs> if you buy it bigger than your size, it's, big, it's too big for you. True. But you want to wear your skirt tight. True. There's a reason why you're wearing your skirt tight. Yes. Because it's not the brothers in church, but it's the sinners outside of the church. They're saying, Woo, baby, you fine, and all of that kind of mess. Believe me, anything, 
When we try to justify ourselves by the counsel of our own heart, I don't have money right. to change my work. You're eating a fast food restaurant all the time. Every day. $5 here, $10 there. That's a, that's a new wardrobe. Yes. Yes. But we're justified. Yes. Thrift store. Yes. That might buy you two shirts, two yes. skirts. Yeah. That'll be a bigger size. Yes, I've, I've seen people come in here and say, well, I don't have no clothes to wear. Uh -huh. well, well, there's a will, there's a way. Yes. We, we'll, we'll make a way made. A way is already made. But I'm saying they'll come in and they'll stay just like they won't change at all. Yes. Came in pants, stay in pants for a year. You lying somewhere. Yes. It can't, you're not that bad at all. That's right. Because we come together and do love offerings and all of that stuff. We see that you want to make that change. Yeah. But Sister Washington that bought sisters dresses True. and all of that stuff. Witness. And they threw it in the closet. This ain't tight enough. It's too loose. I don't want that. That's old folks clothes. I don't want, I don't, anything that's too big is old people clothes. Right. That's old but fashion. anything that's tight is, is, is just right. <laughs> We, we, we have to be wise when Satan start. Satan will dress you. True. Satan will cause pride to kick in. Yes. John Jr. Hardy. Lord. Pride dressed them two boys. And they, they look good. Witness. When they came to church, they look good. But it wasn't according to holiness. Right. Pr pride. They, they could have looked the same way. But when you... You know what spirit a person is walking by. Amen. And that if we knew they wasn't walking by the Holy Ghost. Shoes match, socks match, tie match. The, 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 it had to be groomed just right, right. mustache, trim. Might even pick the eyebrows a little bit. Right. Braces Brothers ain't got no business. Y'all didn't hear me. Say brothers, bro, bro, brothers. I don't yeah. think y'all heard me. Again, Brothers Bob. ain't got no business trimming their eyebrows. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just the man in me. Amen. Trim and looking like a woman. It, it's okay if you got a wild hair and you pluck it. All right. I'm, I'm talking about that wild hair you just plucked. But are you trimming your eyebrows and you look like a woman? Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. The Holy Ghost, <laughs> it talks about effeminate. Oh yes. And it said those type of people won't have no part with him. That, that, that's why uh, there are certain things as, as a man, we teach our children. That my, my daddy wouldn't dare let me play with a dog. <laughs> you, you let me pick up one of Renee's Barbie dogs. See what happens. I'm saying, if I wasn't taking the head off of it or breaking the leg off of it, I wasn't justified to play with no dog. Because there are sometimes you got to train a child. You got to shape and mold them because, see, that spirit, it does work in some children. Yes. And, and, and it's up to a parent. It's, it's not their job to, to shape them according to their feminine ways. Right. It's up to you to shape them and say, son, uh, <laughs> men don't do that. No, no, uh, no, no. You, you, boy, don't, don't you walk like that. Because some men are, are at twist. Y'all didn't hear me. <laughs> Say it again, problem. Hey, hey, man, we keep them from the borderline. Uh, I get on my grandchildren now. Whenever they laugh and, and out loud and stuff, it sounds like a, a girl screech. A boy, uh, do, 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 you, better you better put a little bass in there. <laughs> I thought there was a girl over there. <laughs> and and my, my grandkids, that they, they'll let you know Poppy don't Poppy don't play like that. <laughs> Madison, the only girl in the house. But it don't give Christopher a right to play with her dolls. No. Uh, when when Isaiah's come over to the house, I, if he got the, a doll in his head, boy, you better put that doll down. <laughs> I don't care if it's a GI Joe. Talking about um, what you said about John Jr. and Harvey, like a lot of our youth uh, think that they can justify doing that. 
A lot of our youth, amen, a lot of our youth think that they can justify uh, matching and all that stuff because John Jr. Harvey did that. They say, well, John Jr. Harvey did it. How come we can't dress like that? Right. They, they're using that as their basis for why they do what they do. Yes. Didn't make it right. Sure didn't. And, 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 and evidently, y'all wasn't listening when they got rebuked. That's right. Ford, they're the reason why we wear white shirts now. <laughs> it, it wasn't no mystery on the wise of uh. It, it was too much pride. But they, some of us are ch matching and everything. Spirit say, okay, it's time to put a stop to that. Yes. Every brother wore white shirts because I mean they. They had, I'm telling you, my son had a shirt to match every tie, every had a pair of socks to match his shirt. I mean, they had a, we, we called them Skittles. They had, <laughs> what they look like. They had every color in the rainbow. Yes. Even, even the braces match. Hey, Amen. Thank you. Uh, even the braces match. And, and even in that right there, effem, uh, 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 femininity can even pop up in that kind of stuff. And, and, and yeah. see, the world, the world is being shaped that way. Amen. It, it's a, a, a lot of gay tolerance is in the land. The, yeah, now, now they got a word for it. Metrosexual. For men to be all right being like Fred said. Yeah, some of y'all don't know what that means. <laughs> but Fred used to say, I think, uh, but the word that they use today is called metrosexual. Yes. That means a man can groom himself just like a woman. True enough. It, no, uh uh. You, uh, brother going to get his toes done? Putting clear on his fingernails? What? I'm just, I'm going to put it out there. So if anybody guilty, it's time to stop that mess. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm giving you what the Spirit is giving me right now. Yes, sir. If you pluck in your eyebrows, brothers, we don't do that. We don't trim them. We don't, we don't shine up our toes. It's okay <laughs> if you got long toenails and you want to clip them. That's fine. That's fine. But you polish them and brushing them up and all that kind of stuff, shaping them and all that stuff? No, no, no. F fingernails growing longer than some of the sisters' fingernails in here? No, no. Uh, I, I'm like, uh, I, 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 I bite and spit my fingernails out. Boy. I don't need no clipper. I have some at home. Sometimes I clip them, but I clip mine down to the nub. And hey, believe me, you ain't gonna know that. You ain't gonna say Prophet been tr uh, grooming his hand because they gonna be so. They gonna look so bad. <laughs> you, you, you won't even know. And right. when I touch you, you're going to say, whoa, that's rough. That's right. But the Spirit, it, 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 it won't men to be men. Yes. It, it, men don't need to go around acting like they women. Men don't need to go around liking other men. No. Uh, brothers, y'all shouldn't be touching one another. None of that kind of stuff. I'm only giving you what the Spirit is giving me right now. Amen. Because, see, we fight spirits. Yes. It, 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 it don't make you no wronger than the one that keep lying all the time. That's right. Or the one that, that's stealing, the one yes. that's cussing in secret and all. Sin is sin. But Period. we're going to let you know what's right, and we're going to let you know what's wrong. Yes. That's right. It, 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 it talks about that. Yes. And, it, and if we don't put it out there, some parents, they won't talk to their children about it. That's right. And you should. Because yes. some are actually seeing in their kids and won't say a word. Right. And, and it's important. If you see it there, it's time for you to deal with it. Addressing. You don't, you don't, and, and you don't take your child and treat them like they poison or something. Disown them. Boy, I'm disowning you. Ain't no. no child of mine have no business acting like that. No. <laughs> what you need to do is get in the word and say, son, this is how the Lord will have for us to be. Yes. This is, he want men to, to be responsible. Yes. To take care of their household and the, you, you groom him to be a man. Yes. No man don't have no business being lazy. Some of you brothers are lazy in here. Amen. Don't want to participate in nothing. Yes, sir. We, brothers should be lazy. That's right. Young or old. 
Yes. I ought to be ready to participate in every good work. Every and good some work. works is going to cause you to sweat. Amen. <laughs> and that's just the truth of the matter. <laughs> I'm going to tell or use this story. Uh, there was a time we had a job at the World Trade Center. An apostle is on this wire right here. He's going to do what a man got to do. And we had a lot of stuff to pack and take back to the van and everything. Well, we had some brothers that's lazy. They grabbed the lightest thing that they could find. And they left apostle picking up some big heavy thing, a cooler, and, and trying to walk with it. Right. And the brothers passed them up with the lights a cord. I looked and I saw that and I said, whoa, wait a minute. What, why are Apostle toting that cooler? Right. I went over there and grabbed the cooler because they wasn't, wasn't thinking. Right. Sometimes y'all don't think. Yeah, you shouldn't let the older people take the hard work Amen. while you take it easy. That's You'd right. rather pick up the trash than right. to push the lawnmower. Apostle Diaz out there pushing the lawnmower. Right. And, and you're going to pick up that piece of paper. Right. And he's sweating. And he had medical issues. Yes. See, That's right. when we do things, we have to be mindful of one another. Yes. Look on one another's condition. He's a, number one, he's an apostle. Yes, sir. First. Shouldn't be have, he shouldn't have to wait tables anyway. That's right. But since there's not a lot of us. True. He do what he have to do. Yes, sir. Since there's not a lot of us, I do what I have. It's more ministers out there. Working doing the yard than it is, brother. That's true. That's the truth about the matter. Amen. There's more ministers than it is, brother. Yes, sir. Out there doing all that yard work or whatever work yes. that need to go forward. That's right. But young men, y'all need to be men. That's right. Not not time to be feminine and all of that kind of stuff. No. Y'all put that far away from y'all. That's right. It, you groom yourself, groom yourself according to holiness. Yes. Uh, Yahweh, how, is he going to be pleased? I, That's right. By no means am I telling y'all to be slouchy, come here with wrinkled shirts on, uh, and, on. and all be, be of understanding. That's right. We, we know when a spirit is dressing us. Believe me, I know when pride come my way, and I've tasted it. Yes. I know when pride is trying to dress me. Yes, sir. I know it. Yeah. And I have to do something about that. Yes. I don't. I told y'all my story. Yes, sir. I was in the mirror. All right. And got a black thing and colored this gray out. <laughs> I looked at myself for a minute. Just for a minute. Pride said that don't look bad. Right. You look like your old self. <laughs> and I wasn't being honest with myself. I'm getting old. Right. I wanted to lie to my flesh. Wanted to see in the mirror. Stay young. And say you're not that old. Right. See, look, yeah, that, not, not, no gray right there. And I had to say, get in Satan. I didn't walk out the bathroom and say, baby, look, you like this right here? She probably would have said, yeah. Right. And that would have made me want to keep it even more so. Yes, right. But if I would have kept it, it wasn't a please, huh? No. Pride would have had me doing that. Next thing you know, I'm, I'm telling, baby, you know this woman was looking at me. Uh, 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 she will follow me, or uh, uh, she'll see a woman looking at me, right. I don't know why. and she say, "Baby, you need to wash that stuff off." <laughs> but I knew pride was 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 making me do that, yes. and so I had to say, "Get him, Satan." I didn't go nowhere. I was in the mirror, didn't leave the bathroom, <laughs> washed it off, yes, sir. came back out, and never did it again. I said, never did it again. Because, see, Satan, he'll want me to look and say, your wife don't have all that cream. Sometimes you just look old. Well, I'm going to look as old as I act. True. You know, if I want to walk around like an old man, yeah, I'm going to be an old man. <laughs> but there are times I, I, I dress myself up when we go places. And sometimes I won't dress up at all. I don't care. I got her. <laughs> I'm not trying to impress anybody. Amen. So, That's right. you that's married, 
don't, don't, don't be losing weight on the wires of uh, because you think it's going to make your husband love you more. Right. Your husband should love you regardless. regardless. If you're doing it for health reasons, by all means. Right. But even in that, you better be careful. Right. You better be careful. Yes. Because you're going to be looking in the mirror, and the next thing you know, because when we used to lift weights, we, as soon as we finish pumping, we go in the mirror. While you, you feel swole, you go in the mirror. And the next thing you know, you want to come out the door with a muscle shirt on. Yes, no shirt. We don't wear muscle shirts. Nah. You want a tight T-shirt on. We don't right. wear tight T-shirts. Oh, your pants tighter because right. you want to flex your muscles. We don't flex our muscles around here. We cover them up. Just like a sister have to be covered, a brother have to be covered too. I mean, it works both ways. Y'all hear us talk about sisters in models apparel the majority right. of the time. Yes. Well, brothers got to be modest too. Yes. We, we can't wear the, the, the shirt is, is up to here. It said, like manner also, your sleeve ought to be here. You wind it up to here because you know you got some guns on you. Right. Rolled up. That, that, and that's what you start calling them. Look yeah. at these guns. Why, why are you talking like that? Pride got you talking about guns. Pride got you talking about that six pack. I yes. got a keg. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't have a. A four pack, two pack. <laughs> but you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm not ashamed. Amen. I, 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 I'm not ashamed. I, I'm not going to go try to get me a six pack either. Right. If I do, it's not going to be my stomach. Cough a little. But again, pride is in all of that. If I'm at home doing a whole lot of sit-ups and stuff, awesome. if it's not for health reasons, why am I sitting up? Right. I mean, we, we got to really watch ourselves. Those that lose a lot of weight, yes. they got to make sure they don't change the way that they walk. You, right. you going to the store more than you used to? Right. Why, why, why are you the one one of your wife and say, baby, I'm going to the store. No, I got it, baby. What you want? <laughs> All the time. You the one want to run to the store all the time. All the time. Something got you going to that store. Somebody don't compliment you on how you look, yeah. and all of that kind of stuff. Please, I, I don't like going to the store. So if I, if my wife, if I start saying, "Baby, I go," I, "Baby, I go," it's like she going to the store. Okay, I won't bring me something back. <laughs> she have to ask me to go to the store with her. I'm not jumping up volunteering. Baby, I, I, uh, Walmart, because uh, I don't see somebody in Walmart. Don't, don't you know the spirit? It knows all things. Yes. And I don't believe what's going out is going out void. Right. I, I, I just don't believe it's going out void. So we got to watch ourselves in everything that we do. Yes. School starting, even yes. Rachel and Nicole, they teach us. Yes. Don't you know kids will compliment them, especially if they go to junior high school. That's right. Ooh, Miss Davis, you look nice. Miss <laughs> Davis got to make sure that that don't go to her head. Cause Teacher Davis don't never tell her that she look nice. What? And then, and that's how things start, Saints. Yes. Uh, her husband should be able to. When was the last time that right. you let your wife know that she looked good to you? That right. she's beautiful. That, that you love her and all of this. It, it can't go on for a long You ain't said it in a two years. What? <laughs> I, I, I let my wife know that she's beautiful to me. Right. She's the apple of my eye. Right. She's the one that got my attention. Yes. Uh, and, and I'll say it like this. Any sister... Any sister, Any. or sinner for that matter, want to look at me in that kind of way, I love my wife. Amen. And I'm going to let you know tonight, you don't even stand a chance. <laughs> you, you come my way, you get rebuked. That's right.
And that's why you better stand. You'll get rebuked. You have to learn how to rebuke people when they come to you. Believe me, to the flesh is flattering. True. It's flattering to the flesh. Right. But don't you know we have to overcome that spirit? Yes. Because believe me, if you think that you'll sit in here and never be tried with that spirit, I got a news flash for you. You fooling yourself. You're lying to yourself. That's why I, when I'm around sisters, I'm careful on how I conduct myself. Amen. I'm just, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a clean it up now. Yes, sir. I'm get ready to close it. Amen. Y'all always will. When I'm around sisters, I make sure I conduct myself right. Amen. And since the Lord is my witness, I'll call you sisters as my witness. Amen. Have I ever came on to any of y'all? Have I ever told y'all how fine I think y'all getting? Uh, sister, you show sure losing a lot of weight. Interest in your weight loss? All of a sudden. You know, you ought to be able to put yourself out there. Amen. I don't spend a long time with no sisters. Right. Matter of fact, I used to, when I'm counseling, I would bring my wife. But it's to a point where I don't have to do all of that. Amen. My wife trusts me. I'm led by the Holy Ghost. Yes. I'm not going to be in the back room flirting with no sister or anything on that wire. Every, every minister, every brother better get that in them because Satan is real. Satan will show you a sister that you think you want it. Yes. And he'll play with you. That's right. That's, That's why I won't get too close to nobody Amen. on that wire. I'm spending... I, Sister Kathy is the 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 uh, the uh, church secretary and stuff. Well, there are times that I have to sit with her, and we discuss business. Yes. But I'm not spending hours call her up in the morning. Sister Kathy, what you doing? Are you busy? She's popping up over there. How is, is, is Pastor Jenkins home? All of a sudden. Oh, uh, you know, I'll be over there in a minute. We need to discuss. Don't you know, if you're not careful, that spirit will come up on you. Yes. And, and, and Yahweh is here to let you know, don't, because we got flesh on. And, and we, we war against spiritual wickedness in high places. Daily. And if lust haven't tried you, stick Lord. around. Lust will try each and every one of us. Yes. But what are you going to do when it try you? Yes, sir. Surely, Sister Washington, I don't flirted with you at least one time. Come on. All these years? Amen. She say never in the 20 some years we don't been here. And that's the truth. Sister Brenda Shirley, I mean, you know they said you're an apostle. And so we just had to have some down here in Dallas. I like the way you said that. I, I, I feel the same way, Sister. I feel the same way. Not a chance. Be because I look at the bigger picture. Yes. It's a sin against God. And then my wife, my Lord. Yes. People don't look at what you destroy. A whole family. You destroy families. families. Your children, your yes. wife. And, and, and that's a, uh, it's something that you're not, she'll forgive you. But that trust level is something that has to be built back up. Amen. And it's not her fault that you did it. That's right. That's why brothers, I don't know what the spirit is on the brothers tonight, but it's something that evidently. Uh, That's right. All the sisters outside. Right. Brothers inside, except you. Yeah. Just one. You the only brother? Right. Out in the midst of all those sisters. And they talking sister stuff? I don't see it happen with my own eyes. Spirit had to come and say, brothers, y'all stay away from them sisters like that. Yes. Why, why y'all hanging around the sisters so much? Don't you know sometimes lust to have you hanging around the sisters? Yeah. I just love the way past the look. <laughs> Becca, she's so beautiful. <laughs> and those are the main two that you're around. Right, all the time. 
Don't, don't, we have to be wise. That's right. We have to be wise. Let, let's not offend one another. You, if you greet a sister one time, don't go back to that sister again. Some, uh, there's a spirit leading you right back to that sister. Yes. <laughs> come on now. Come, come here, uh, just, uh, Come here, Riri. I, well, praise Yahweh, Sister Rachel. How you doing, Sister? Praise Yahweh, Sister Washington. Oh, Sister Rachel, praise Yahweh. How you doing, Sister? Oh, praise Yahweh, Mother Brenda. Oh, praise Yahweh. Sister Risa. <laughs> that, 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 that's too much. You can sit down. Why, why you keep on praising Yahweh with that sister like that? Right. Hey Amen. You ain't going on a trip. <laughs> you going to miss them and all that kind of stuff. We saying peace be. So we want to be wise. Amen. And what we do in here. That's because right. again, Satan, he's real. And, and, and he'll lead you by a spirit. And yes. you're thinking, I'm supposed to greet everybody. But sometimes we won't, we won't see ourselves when we do a thing. That's right. Uh, yes, sir. We, we will not see ourselves when we do things. Amen. And the spirit, it wants us to open up our eyes. Yes, sir. When it comes down to, and, and as a husband, I'm, again, I'm very careful. Amen. That's right. Now, this is one thing y'all do see me do, but I do this to mo, mo, mainly the younger sisters and, yes. and some of the brethren too. Hey. You'll see me do this right here. Right. I've been doing that for years. And it's not flirting, it's right. blessing. Amen. So, some. Some sisters, I'll, I'll touch them on their head like that. So, some, I, I'll, I'll pinch their cheek. Been right. doing that for years. Yes, yeah. Even with the babies. <laughs> to, to a point that where my granddaughter and my grandson, sometimes they do people like that. Right. Because I've been doing them like that all their life. All their life. But there's nothing sexual behind it. Yeah. Nothing flirty behind it. No. Uh, anything on that wire. When you do something, you need to make sure that it's all in pureness, all honest before yes. Yahweh, because right. that's who we have to answer to. That's in right. the end, that's who we're answering to. Yes. Uh, fi finish. There are many devices. Many in man's devices heart. in a man's heart. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. The counsel of the Lord. The counsel of the Lord. That shall stand. It shall stand. The desire. The, the, of this man. counsel tonight. It's gonna stand. Yes. So. Brother, if y'all don't want to take heed to what I'm saying about that effeminate stuff, Lord. but the counsel of the Lord is going to stand. Uh, will you tell John Jr. get out the mirror, son? Yes. Amen. Do it before the flames hit you. Lord. What, what you doing? You, you spending more time than Tisha and Cody doing right. in the mirror. He in there. Br Boy, your hair combed. It's already combed. The perfect way. Got the perfect way. It's already there. Amen. Sideburns, just that perfect. They didn't understand pointy. <laughs> it had to be shapely. That's what we talk too much grooming. Amen. I, I'd rather look like Brother Desi and, 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 and Lil Rob. But Brother Desi, I, I love the way you groom yourself. He was looking like a grizzly. <laughs> but, 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 but he, 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 tr he trimmed it up some. Right. A a ain't nothing feminine about your look at all, son. <laughs> 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 n n nothing. <laughs> Look, 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 Robert, ain't, ain't nothing feminine about your look at all, son. But at the same time, even in all of the how we shape and all of that stuff, yes. we have to make sure it's not pride. Amen. Some of us, we like to set trends. True. I'm going to wear it like this and see who. who follows. Spirit got me one time. Every brother wore a tie like this. 
Not me. I got a new way. I'm not going to put it through the loop. I'm just going to lap it over. Set a trend. Spirit say, who told you to tie your tie like that? <laughs> well, uh, I thought uh, you tie your tie like everybody else tying a tie. I'm trying to change everybody else, make them do it like I'm, I'm, I'm tying mine. Because some brothers looked at what I was doing right. and trend. thought that was pretty neat. Trend. Well, we don't set trends off in here. We don't try to take on, you want to conform to what you see everybody else looking like. Yes. You don't try to come into church and set a trend in the church. No. no. And, and again, I think Yahweh that John Jr. and Harvey eventually, they took heed. Amen. They, they, they realized we can't keep doing that. So when John Jr. face looked scruffy, I knew he wasn't. He wasn't trying to look handsome. And when we started seeing Harvey, especially when we used to visit them, Harvey come out looking like a grizzly bear. <laughs> a full beard. Yeah. At that point, we knew pride was out the window then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. They don't want to look pretty for nobody, not in jail. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to look pretty. You don't want to look pretty there. <laughs> you don't want to be pretty there. You don't want to be pretty there. But 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 bottom line, it it, it took it away from them though. Yes, it, sir. It, it, it took pride away from them. And even when they come out, they will still have to wrestle with that spirit, just as we do. Yes. Uh, again, I'm I'm in the mirror. I'm dressing myself. Am I doing it to the glory of Yahweh? Uh, my dressing center. Uh, I think they'd probably like this right here. I ain't never wore this one before. <laughs> you talking to yourself like, I ain't never wore this one before? I ain't never wore this one before. Are you concerned about what people think, how you dress? Right. Pride. That, that's pride. Yes, pride sir. will cause us to think, want to think, uh, I don't care. Amen. You can wear that same dress five times or uh, three times the same week. The same week. I'm not going to say it. Uh, sister, you wear that dress too many times. I don't care. If that's what you got to wear, that's what you got to wear. But pride will kick in and some people won't. So we got to be, we got to be, we got to watch ourselves every step that we make, every move. Yes. Somebody's watching. That's right. That's why uh, Joshua, somebody looking at you, son. That's right. Somebody looking at you. They watching everything that you do. Everything that you do. They, and right. if you set a good example, they'll want to be just like you. Right. True. The Vaurier, I got it right. There you go. People looking at you, son. True. You, you, you be sure that you set the right example. And, and I always tell Satan, you a liar, you ain't got nothing on me. You ain't got nothing. Because I believe in you wholeheartedly. Yes. I, I believe that you can overcome any demon just as I overcome the demons that I face. Your brother, your daddy. Yes. You can overcome anything, Brother Harvey. Any demon that you wrestle with, you can overcome it. But it's going to take the word. Yes. And the word of shape and mold. Yes. Hannah, Nana. That, that's my baby right there. I remember when you were just a baby, baby. in the hospital. <laughs> you can overcome anything. Yeah, see, it's a habit. <laughs> you can overcome anything, baby. Anything. Look at Kenosha and Mello. Right. Y'all young, getting ready to go to college now. Lord. Don't you know, Rachel, I remember a testimony that she gave when she went to college. Mm. Kenosha, I'm going to pass it on to you. Mm. She was walking down the sidewalk. This before she got married. She was walking down the sidewalk. And those guys was whistling at her. Uh-huh. Like they ain't never whistled at you. Okay. All right. All right. And, and she had to remember to fight that spirit of pride. But for a second there, she was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and she had to remember, let me rebuke that spirit. Right. Sarah, my love, you can overcome... We talked about at the beginning, break every chain. Break every chain. You can break every chain that holds you down. 
Satan can't get the victory over you, baby. You are chilled us. Yeah. You are chilled us. That's right. Yeah, you are Brian. That's right. I remember you when you was a baby, too. At the hospital. See, I got pictures to prove what I'm talking about. I believe she's a baby. So, break every chain every that, that, that bound you. Set yourself free. Go home, listen to that song. Yes. And when you feel the chains falling, Every say, chain. call me up. And say, I like that song. Every chain. We got Des Destiny. I wanna, I'm proud of you. Amen. You come in and you uh, done something many sisters have never done. Right. The modest apparel, you adapted. Boom. Didn't have no problem, whatever. My mother-in-law gave us stuff. Right. And she won't. Amen. Now, anybody take something from Peggy and say, she old. What, I, I, she ain't got nothing for me to wear. <laughs> well, she buying at the same store everybody else buying at. Walmart. Right. They, don't have, they don't have a section that say for old people. <laughs> I ain't seen it. No. Have y'all seen that? No. Have you seen it yet? So she's shopping at Walmart, Walmart just like everybody else. See it. But you took the clothes, you say, I don't care. And you wear whatever people give you. And so you've shown yourself to be sound. You've shown yourself to be strong. Whatever we ask you to do. I I, I just been waiting on a a, a, a mountain to erupt or something. But but you've shown yourself to be sound in this way. I, I see why Brother Harvey care for you like you do. You have your mom's spirit when yes. she's in the spirit. That's right. Because she was just as sweet as she could be. And you have that spirit about you. Yes. You keep it up. Yahweh gonna do wonderful things with you. <laughs> Ain't that right, Sister Becca? You be strong, love. I remember you and your baby too. Not a baby baby, but but you be strong. Cause you are what? And welcome back. Yes. Welcome back. You be strong. Yes. And the power of his might. Things are going to work out for you, sister. Things are going to work out for you. So it's important that all y'all be an example to her. She don't need nobody backsliding. She, she needs strength in here. Yes. And, 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 and this is the baby have shown more fruit than people been in here for 10 years. Lord. Read a little more and let me close. <clears throat> the desire of a man yes. is his kindness. Is what? Is his kindness. Read. And a poor man, and a poor man is better than a liar. Is better than what? Is better than a liar. A poor man is better than a liar. Yes, sir. And that's the truth. Amen. Uh, and, and we're talking about poor in spirit. Yes. Because a, a, a liar, what is a liar? Someone that no truth in them. Right. They'll say and do anything. A, yes. fa fa a falsehood. Yes. You don't want to be sitting in here. It's better for you to be a poor man. Yes. Sitting in here and receive the spirit. Don't have anything. Yes. Be of lower state yes. than to be a liar. That's right. Someone that pretends that they're doing everything that the Spirit is asking for. Right. I, I'll acknowledge, I don't fast as I ought to. Amen. But I do fast. Right. right. That, that's the thing. Yes, sir. I'm not going to project the image. I fast every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, y'all. If you don't, it's a shame on you. Sun up to no, Sunday. I don't. But I, 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 I will fast. When I know I need to fast, fast I, yes. I'm fasting. Because right. I know what I wrestle with. That's right. That's right. And, and, and some, I, I, sometime I'll fast for you all. Right. Because sometime we have to fast to, to be an example. Amen. And, and we'll make mention of how hard it was to fast. Because if we never speak of it, right. you'll never do it. That's true. Do I pray as I ought to? No. Right. But I'm praying. Amen. 
I, I, I meditate and I do meditate on him both day and night. Yes. Because if I'm not meditating on him, uh, Satan got my meditation. Yes. And I refuse to give my meditation to Satan. That's right. So my meditation is up on him. And if we don't do these things, we won't be kept by the power of his word. That's because right. Because it's in his word that I do my meditation upon. Amen. And so, again, I'm thanking Yahweh for the saints tonight. Amen. I thank Yahweh for the words that he has given me. Amen. I hope that it didn't go on death's ear. Saints, y'all, hear what the Spirit has to say to the church because yes. Yahweh want to do great things with us. That's right. And he can't do it with, a wick, with wickedness Amen. in us. That's true. We have to be clean in order for him to do a work. Amen. So at this time, everyone receive Apostle Hurley by saying, praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Man, praise Yahweh, saints. Hey, amen. You can be seated. You know, I didn't hear all of tonight's service, but I know that the spirit of Yahweh is right on time oh, yes. because I haven't talked to anybody about my meditation. Right. And whenever he came, whenever I came and he w and Prophet Stanifer was speaking, he was touching on the exact same stuff that I've been searching my soul about. That's right. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. And I know it's a little late, and I'm, I am not going to keep you long. But I have some things I want to share with you. Amen. 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 Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Yahweh is a good God, and he's merciful. That's right. Amen. Amen. I'm going to read something for you. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 36. Amen. Verse 16. I don't need anybody to read it for me. All right. <clears throat> Thank you, though. Yes, sir. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, Ezekiel, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman. Wherefore I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land, and they had shed, they, that they had shed upon the land and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen, and they were dispersed through the countries. According to their way and according to their doings, I judged them. And when they entered unto the heathen, whither they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, these are the people of Yahweh and are gone forth out of his land. But I had pity for mine holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whither they went. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I do, I do this not for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which you have profaned among the heathen, whether you went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which you have profaned in the midst of them, and the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, saith the Lord Yahweh, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and I will bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. And you shall keep my judgments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. And ye shall be my people. And I will be your God. I will also save you from all your uncleannesses. And I will call for the corn and will increase it and lay no famine upon you. 
And I will multiply the fruit of the tree, the increase of the field, that ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Then shall ye remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good, and shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations. Not for your sakes do I this, saith the Lord Yahweh. Be it known unto you, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways. O house of Israel, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, in the day that I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquities, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities, and the wastes shall be builded, and the desolate land shall be tilled, whereas it lay desolate in the sight of all that passed by. And they shall say, this land that was desolate is become like the Garden of Eden, and the waste and desolate and ruined cities are become fenced and are inhabited. Then the heathen that are left round about you shall know that I, Yahweh, build the ruined pl the places and plant that was desolate. That that was desolate. I, Yahweh, have spoken it and I will do it. Praise Yahweh. And I have been examining myself. I've been hearing so many discouraging things. And I've been asking myself. Can I help? Will it not take a sacrifice to help my brothers and my sisters? It's not me time. We all have some me time. We all try to sit back and kick back and relax and have a little relaxation time. A little bit of me time. Don't we try to do that? But whenever our brothers and sisters and even our own houses are having turmoil and trouble in it and problems, it's not time for me time. It's not time to take it easy. It's not time for those things. Amen. So I've been listening. I've been hearing things. Yes, sir. Devil trying to start arguments between me and my wife. Right. I hear the some wives are saying, my husband screams at me, yells at me, fights. These are saints. Right. I hear in the other ear, my wife, you know, she she you know she won't let me be the head of the house. I hear two different stories from the husbands, two different stories from the wives. I hear about saints that were getting stronger starting to fade back down. I hear saints blaming other saints for why they're weak. It's all a mess. It's all a bunch of confusion. It's not right. And people can't look to me for an example because I'm too busy having me time. When Brother Desi first came back to church, he said, I'm amazed how little you brothers fast and pray nowadays. Y'all used to do it so much more. Amen. That was years ago that he said that. Right. Amen. And he's right. Amen. He was right then and he's right now. We're not near as strong as we need to be. We're not close to as holy as we should be. None of us. But I'm not worried about y'all. I got to be the best me that Yahweh wants me to be. That way I can help other people. People don't have to worry about whether I sit around and I talk about them. People don't have to sit and worry about whether I'm judging them. That's right. I want y'all all to know my focus is only on me. I hate talking about other people. I don't do it. Every time anybody comes to me and wants to talk about something somebody else is doing, my first thing is say, hey, don't worry about it. Everything is going to be okay if we will do what's right to do. If we will serve Yahweh, we can't let any of these things bother us. 
when people, I hear them worry about what other saints think about them. Why are you wasting your time doing that? Don't do it. Put all your focus on being exactly what you're supposed to be. So that's why it's time for me to make a major sacrifice. I'm not going to fast every day. But if I see a reason why somebody can't see me right, I have to stop doing those things. That's right. You have people that are having hard times, and if you're taking it easy, they're going to find fault in you. Yes. And I do need to be everything that Yahweh wants me to be. And if I am not praying for you, fasting for you, making sacrifices for you, giving up me time for you, then I'm not being the apostle that Yahweh has called me to be. So I need to be proactive. Use the mind that Yahweh blessed me to have. Be wiser about what I do. That's why I've decided to put alcohol completely away. Not that I, well, you know, you may think I'm drunk, but I'm not. I'm just having a good time. I'm a very laughing, loving, caring, outspoken, happy person. But if I'm drinking and you're thinking I'm drunk, then I don't need to drink at all so you can see me right. And that's the truth. And the thing about it is, also, I do need to not fool myself. It's best to just... I need to prove that I'm not addicted to things. If you keep on saying I can quit any time but never do, (laughs) there's something wrong with you. I'm willing to make these sacrifices. I want everybody to know and see what is number one in my life. Extra talking is gone. People think they're my equal. But I'm just trying to tell you, I've paid the price to be as spiritual minded as I am. But I've got to do what I got to do to make the sacrifices to be able to convey that over to you. You got to do what you got to do to get it because it because what I am doesn't mean anything if I can't help you. I'll die out and won't be who I am. I will get a slow fade like the song says. We who claim to be strong in the church, I believe you are. We who claim that we've built ourselves up and worked on ourselves and on your most holy faith and you've been striving like you, Mother Brenda. You've been working so hard to be all that you can be in the church, saying amens to every service, just being there, you know, not, not, not letting up, but continuing on, continuing on. You who claim to be strong in the church. You who say that you're there for your brother, you're there for your sister. Really be there. That's the only way that this scripture that I just read is going to be fulfilled. The only way that it's going to be fulfilled, the people that are cast down and they're in sin and they're heavy laden and they're in denial and they can't come out, the only way they're going to be be able to come out is through you. Amen. By you being the best that you can be. Yes. I don't want to be the best. I want to just be the best I can be. Right. This is not a competition for me. It never has. I just want to be all that I can be. Right. I don't want to be you. I don't want to be the best. I don't want to be better than you. I just want to be the best I'm supposed to be. Right. I don't want to go lower. I don't want Yahweh to have anything to say bad about me in the day of judgment. Amen. 
So I've got my mind made up. I see people in the church that need some major help, but they can't even take my advice. So that's why I've made up. I'm going to help myself and help you at the same time. Quit the mess. Quit fighting with each other all the time. Quit all the junk. Quit acting like a bunch of babies. You're grown up. You're about to see a more serious me. A me that you may have never seen before. The me that has always been here. But I'm going to make you see it now. I've always been me, but I'm going to make you see it now. I'm also going to be slower to speak. Amen. Amen. I'm going to be slower to speak. Because it's so easy to say something you don't mean or not put it exactly the right way and cause your brother and your sister to get offended and you didn't even mean anything by it. But if you're slower to speak, that kind of stuff's not just not going to happen. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. That's right. Give a little bit more diligence to explain yourself a little bit more clearly. Or you're not careful, you'll be just saying stuff, and then it didn't come out the way you wanted it to, and then, but now it's too late, you said it, so now you've got to try to defend yourself. Yes, that's right. And justify yourself. Yes. Praise Yahweh. Amen. Uh, when a prophet was talking about everything that I wanted to talk about right. the dress code remember how we, 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 we stopped wearing shirts that even had stuff written on it yes. but that took a sacrifice none of us wanted to do that kind of stuff and I'm still lifting it I still don't wear shirts with a whole bunch of designs and stuff on it I, I'm just not going to. No. Amen. I'm not going to wear a shirt with Superman or Spider-Man on it because it makes me look immature. That's not what I'm trying to convey. Do you understand? I'm not trying to convey those kind of things. We have a standard that we've been lifting for a long time and everybody's letting it slip. And be ye of understanding when I say everybody. We're letting the standard slip. Can't y'all see it? Can't y'all see it? You got saints coming back to church. They're repenting. They're coming back to church. Then they're looking around and saying, maybe the church ain't ready yet. If we're not careful, they'll go straight back out in the world because there's too much drama in the church. Well, this saint has a problem with this saint, and this saint has a problem with this saint, and this husband and this wife don't get along, and you'll get two different stories out of them all the time. Who wants to come to that mess? So why don't we get ourselves straightened out? We're all in denial about a whole bunch of junk, and it's ridiculous, and Yahweh is, is ready to bless us, but he won't bless us. He, he can't bless us. We're not going to be blessed until these things get straightened out because saint, people are going to try to come in these doors, try to make this place their home, and they can't make it their home because it's messed up in here too. Can't you see that? People trying to bring the world into church didn't stop with John Jr. and Brother Harvey. I had a talk right before service about the way my son wants to roll up his pants. He's got new shoes. He wants to roll up those pants. I tell him, roll down your pants because I already know your mama's going to tell you to roll down your pants. Well, then he wants to put the little uh, tongue thing and make it stick out. Oh, he wants to correct me and get technical. It doesn't have a tongue, Dad. I say, you better shut your mouth. You don't talk to me that way. Oh, you get technical with me? Amen. 
shut your little mouth up. Oh, you, you can't talk to your kids that way? Well, then, then why don't you just send them out the door to hell? Because that's where they're going. You got to get on to them. Get them straightened out. Get them on the road they need to be on. Quit looking down at your neighbor in church because everybody knows about their problems. What about your little problems that you don't think there's anything wrong with? We all got things that we need to work on and do better on. Last time I checked, I haven't seen one saint that hasn't got rebuked in church. We're a very small body. I know what you do. You know what I do. I know when the word goes forth and it's talking about something you do. Because I've seen you do it. I can't help that. I'm not telling you that I'm spending my time examining you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying some of y'all are little think y'all are better than other saints. <laughs> yeah, some people may look at Brother Desi and Sister April and everybody knows that they have some trouble sometimes. You got your focus on their marriage when you're a mess. We in the flesh, we'll be, we be able to find somebody in the church that's got some problems in their life, and we'll sit at home talking about them when there's something majorly wrong with us. Right? But you're going to find yourself slipping. You're going to fall. Whenever everybody needs you to act like a saint, you're going to drop the ball. Whether it be anniversary time, Whenever it's time for all of us to maintain our composure and act like saints, you're going to act wild as a bat and crazy and rude and mean. And everybody's going to say, I can't wait for this anniversary to be over. I can't remember anniversary that I haven't heard that from somebody. With reason. But... This is no maybe, this is no, this is no, uh, you know, if I feel like it, I'm going to do this. This is I'm doing it. Amen. I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it for you. Because I hate seeing people miserable. I'm going to go to one more verse, and then I'm, I'm going to let everybody go home. And I'm glad to be here, by the way. Amen. Let me find this. Second Timothy chapter two, <clears throat> verse twenty-two, and let's read on kind of fast. Amen. You also useful love. Give heed, saints. Give heed. Give heed. Please give heed. Look past me. See Yeshua Messiah Himself. Amen. Please, please. Yes. I'm not talking about me and my ways. I'm talking about him and his ways. Ways that I myself must submit to. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Praise and Yahweh. if I don't, I'm lost. Yes. So hear these words. Yes. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Read. Flee also youthful lust. Flee also youthful lust. But follow righteousness. Please follow righteousness. Yes, sir. Amen. Let's start doing the right thing. Follow righteousness. Let's start getting a hold of ourselves and quit giving ourselves excuses. Yes. That's right. Quit trying to argue with people to prove to them that they are wrong. Because as you argue with them, people have a tendency to get in more denial 
yes. as you argue with them. Yes. Let them be who they are and let them think about how they bl they blew up. Yes. Don't join. Nope. Learn how to just let people be fools all by themselves. Yes. Let them make them if let them make the mistakes they got to make till they can come to their senses. Yes. To learn. Yes, suffer wrong. Yes. Take it. Read on. But follow righteousness. Follow righteousness. Faith. Faith. Charity. Charity. Peace. Peace with them that are called on the Lord, with them that call the Lord. It's not always easy because you're in trouble. You're in problems. You got things that you can't fix. You want them fixed right now, but they're not going to be fixed right now. Amen. You're in a cage of affliction. Yes. It's surrounded by people, circumstances. Yes. You can't get out of that apartment right now. You don't have the money. You've got to stay there for a while. It's right. a bad place. It's got bad influences. True. You know, it's just a negative atmosphere. Yes. But it's where you've got to be. Yes. It's where you've got to be. Yes. Don't flip faint and fall out. Wait for your change to come. Wait for it to come. Be ready when Yahweh wants to pull you out. Yes. Because he can pull you out. Don't stay there when Yahweh says, come on, it's time to come out. You say, no, I'm just going to wait for my change to come. No, go when Yahweh is going to make a way for you. Yes. That tells you you really didn't have a willing mind to follow Yahweh if you're still there. Yahweh yes. will make a way for you. Yes. But don't try to push it and rush it. That's right. He's got you in that place, and you can't get out till it's time for him to make a way for you to get Amen. out. So just suffer it. Yes. Take it patiently. Don't let it get you having an attitude. See, my dad was real mean, sarcastic, obnoxious, belligerent, every bad word you can think of. And he, you showed, he showed it all over his face how much he, was, he didn't like my mom. Right. That's because he's not a saint. That's What's right. your excuse? That's right. When I was a kid growing up, you could see it all over his face. Whenever I got married and got married to Risa, uh, we had a lot of problems. It started to weigh on me. Amen. I looked in the mirror and I saw my father's face. Right. And I had to say to myself, I'm not doing this thing right. That's right. If I, I'm a saint, I'm in church, and I look as cast down and upset as yes. my father did. Yes. The man that didn't have Yahweh on his side, That's but right. I do. I yes. must not be looking at this thing right. That's right. That's right. I would fly off the handle with her. Yes. I, I mean, you know, when you get ca let yourself get cast down, you think you're not being mean, but you are. But you you are. think you don't sound like you're depressed, but you do sound depressed. That's right. You think you're not acting like someone who's upset, but you are upset. Yes. That's because right. Satan got you down there. You weren't fighting him right. That's right. Just Yahweh that. is always working on us, making us better people. You may have got nine out of ten parts right, but as long as you got that tenth part wrong, you're going to fail every time, no matter what. Amen. And so you got to keep on striving until you get ten right. Yes. So that you don't have any points of weakness. Yes. And I'm going to tell you the truth about it all. You're always going to find something else that's a point of weakness. Yes. And the honest truth of it all is you're always going to find a place where you failed. Yes. Or else we'd be done growing. We'd be done getting better. Yes. But I'm not giving you an excuse to stay in sin. No. I'm, I'm giving you uh, the opportunity to examine yourself more deeply and find something else about yourself you need to change. Yes. And become more godly. Become more better. Yes. Praise Yahweh. Read on. With them that call on the Lord. Read. Out of a pure heart. Call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid. Avoid. Read. Yes. That they do gender strifes. Yeah, don't be trying to find questions to give yourself a reason not to stay in church Amen. and not to do right. Yes. You have to say, I don't need any of that. That's not going to help me. Right. I say to myself, you better stay in church. Right. That's the only way that your family is going to be made whole. Yes. That's right. I don't look at myself as being all that. Nope. My wife my kids, or anybody else in the whole church. That's None right. of us are all that. That's so right. if you do, prophet, as, as good of an example as you've shown, if you let me down, I'm not going to let that take me out. Right. Because I never put you up that high. That's right. 
And you can't put people up that high. You just can't do that. Amen. Oh, no, he did what? No, you can't do that. You just can't do that. That's not wise. No, it's not. And I respect you highly. Right. I don't think you're going to do anything wrong. But if you do, I'm not going to let it just sweep my feet out from under me. That's right. That's right. Read on. And the servant of the Lord must not strive. The servant of the Lord must not strive. But be gentle unto all men. We don't need to be arguing and fighting with one another. No. Nobody. Nobody. There's no need for it. No. In church, out of church, there's absolutely no need to fight. That's right. You can let somebody know how you feel. Every now and then, it's the time and the season, but True. rarely. Yes. Most of the time, you don't need to tell people what you think no. or how you feel. That's because right. Because it's probably not the time. Every now and then, very rarely. Yeah, you, you need to have a game plan of, is what I'm saying going to make peace? Right. Season with salt. Even if you say something that might cut a little, you better have a back, you better have a, a mending word. Right. A reassuring word. After that. That's right. <laughs> We're too quick to do fighting with words with one another. Amen. Husbands and wives. Yes. We'll dish out stuff we didn't want anybody to dish out to us. That's right. Husbands, wives, neither one of y'all have an excuse to do fighting words with each other. That's right. Good man. I thought you were the head of the house. Huh. Them some fighting words. Yeah. You, you may not, you know, your husband may be wrong, but you just got wrong with him That's when right. you said that. Yes. You just got wrong with him when you said that. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hold on one second, Pastor. Read on. But be gentle unto all men. Be gentle. I'm striving for that. Amen. What is the gentler way? What is the better way? That's right. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm trying to find a better way. On my job, they try to tell us, they tell us to like try to, Tell the customers, you know, uh, give me a call uh, before you call the 1-800 number because if you call and another tech comes out within 30 days, then I'll get a repeat. And, you know, you're trying to say all this stuff to them. And or they may get a survey. If you get a survey on me, can you please give me tens because anything below a nine is job affecting for me. Boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Just do a good job, and you don't have to do all that explaining to the, the... If you treat them right, and you're kind to them, and you're the best person that you can be, they're right. going to give you a 10. Yes. And if they don't give you a 10, they won't going to give you one no matter what you no said. What. Yes. So, so I started out telling my customers all this stuff, but I, then it just dawned on me. I always said, just do your job. Yes. Treat them right. Be the very, very best person that you can possibly be. And these people will love you. That's right. And same with you saints. Yes. If one of y'all is offended in me and I see it on your face, then I need to strive to keep peace with you. Amen. Not talk about you. Amen. That's not, right. not hold a grudge and make an enemy. That's right. But read on. But to be gentle unto all men, apt to teach and patient. Yes. In meekness. In meekness. Instructing those that oppose themselves. See, this is why i got to concentrate myself. This is why I've got to make these changes in my life. Yes. Amen? Amen. Because there's so many people in here, including myself, we oppose our own selves. Our own selves. We're against us. <laughs> yes. I'm against me. Yes. And, but, but, but even worse... When you get in this mindset where you're just disobedient and you're just psyching yourself out. Right. Amen? Amen. And I'm willing to say even the things that I think I'm right in, I might be psyching myself out, so I better even do better. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm not above. If I think you could do it, then why can't I do it too? Yes. That's right. So this is all designed for us not to be at ease. Amen. Not, 
not to just let ourselves be so comfortable. That's right. You know, we just, what, what, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm just going to go drink my beers and I'm just going to go watch my TV and good times, good times, everybody. Oh, what's that I hear? Husbands and wives can't get along. <laughs> good times, everybody. And don't do anything to help anybody. It's not wise. I'm all right. Wish they were. When the truth is, everything ain't all right with me. That's right. Everything is not all right with my house. Right. Yahweh is shaping, molding us just like he's shaping and molding y'all. And I've come too far. Too far. To mess this thing up and get at ease. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Read. I'm almost done. If Yahweh peradventure will yes. give them repentance. If Yahweh peradventure will. These, these, these people who are, who are opposing themselves. Yes. Liars. Yes. You know you're a liar. It's been your number one trial. Right. Am I right? You know you're good at it. Who in here, raise your hand if you're not good at lying. <laughs> we, I mean, we may not good, be good at it all the time, but when we really want something, we know how to lie, don't we? Yes. We know how to get in lie mode. Yes. And we stay in it. Right. We build on them. Yes. If people don't know, we'll act like we never did it. Right. Amen? Amen. And the honest truth is, whenever I drink alcohol, I drink to feel good. If it didn't make me feel different, I wouldn't drink it. It doesn't taste that good. It really doesn't. It makes you forget about your troubles. It takes your pain away. But sometimes you need to feel your pain. And sometimes you need to remember your troubles. Amen. People on my job, while I'm trying to fix their, their TVs and make sure they have a good signal, they say, you want a beer? Right. I'll give you a beer. Don't worry about it. I won't tell nobody. Don't worry about it. I say, sir, it's probably not a good idea because I want to keep my troubleshooting skills at their peak. <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> so eventually I'd be saying, I don't know what is wrong with your TV, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I can't help you. But you. Let's put a DVD on <laughs> and just watch yeah. it. Yeah. Instead of that. So that speaks to me. Everything in the natural speaks to me in the spiritual. Yes. I've got to be true to myself. I cannot be a hypocrite, That's start right. lying to myself, Amen. and then it's going to form a, a web of deception That's right. in my mind. Yes. Before you know it, I won't be the person I'm supposed to be. Yes, sir. So it would be good for me to lay off altogether completely. Yes, Amen. 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 Read. If Yahweh peradventure will give them repentance yes. to the acknowledging of the truth. To the acknowledging of the truth. Yes, sir. I'm talking about to the point where you're actually doing something about it. Amen. 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 You mean you're hateful? Are you mean and hateful? Right. Well, amen. <laughs> I hope you're telling the truth. I believe you are, brother. That's right. That's one of your trials, though, right? Yes. Temper. Yes. But the thing about it is, is can you say like Brother Chris, me? Nah. That's right. And mean it. Yes. Amen. Right. It? Amen. Amen. I'm really, really, I really don't have an agenda. I've thrown it in the trash. That's right. I'm not constantly trying to get what I want. That's right. I'm almost done. Yes, sir. Read. And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, 
who are taken captive by him at his will. Amen. So I'm not looking at anybody else. I'm asking myself, what do I need to do? That's right. So I'm asking y'all to pray for me. Amen. As I pray for you. Yes, sir. Because I want to be there for y'all. I want to see the chains fall. Yes. I want to see y'all be happy. Yes. Because the honest truth about me, I've learned how to abound, and I've learned how to be abased. Yes, sir. I can do it all. Amen. With Yeshua Messiah, I can do it all. Yes. That's right. Yahweh will put you in shoes. Yes. To where you can't do anything about your problem. That's right. And just let you stew in it. Yes. I've been stewing since yes. I've been in church. Yes, sir. Now, if you get out the pot, <laughs> you're not going to be as cooked That's as right. you need to be. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. Since I'm still alive. Yes, sir. I'm still being cooked. I'm still in the pot. And so, I just want to be a better person. This is going to be good for me, and I want to be there for you. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Yahweh bless you. I thank Yahweh for, for the words, the brief words he gave me. Yahweh bless you in Yahshua's name. Yes, sir. Deacon Bobby. Praise Yahweh. Amen. Praise Yahweh, saints.